In this video, I'm going to show you how to build a dirt bike channel that brings in at least $3,000 per month. So make sure you watch this entire video as I show you exactly what to do step by step. Hello, this is startthechannel.com where we show you step by step how to launch a successful YouTube channel and make money. So this is everything that we are going to cover today. We are going to talk about picking a niche and exactly what that is. And we're going to show you and tell you why you need to niche down. Next, we are going to cover the necessary equipment you need to get up and running and determine your brand colors. Brand, brand colors are very important, believe it or not, and we'll talk about that in just a moment. Next, we are going to get channel art and do keyword research. In the beginning, you will need to do keyword research so that you can start getting traffic, how to create videos, how to create your best thumbnails, and your upload schedule. Next, we are going to show you and tell you the right way to share it on social media. Many people do it wrong. We're going to tell you the right way to do it. After that, we're going to talk about all of the different ways that you can make money with your YouTube channel and why you need to get a website in the very beginning. So first things first, let's go ahead and get right into it. Here's an example of a successful YouTube channel about motorbikes. The website's called the MX Factory, and they create all sorts of content about motorbikes, everything from how to to more advanced topics that motorbike enthusiasts, dirt bike enthusiasts are interested in. So if we go back over here, in the very beginning, I recommend that you pick a niche and niche down. When, when I say pick a niche and niche down, I recommend that you focus on one aspect in the very beginning. The reason being is simply because you won't have any domain authority. People aren't going to come to your YouTube channel unless you give them a reason to. And that's why I recommend that you pick a niche and niche down. Now, it come, when it comes to dirt bikes, there are many different niches. For example, if we look at this channel over here, it's called Bikes and Beards. They are creating more of like a vlog style content. For example, this one example down here is they bought the cheapest bike over on Amazon. Another example is they turned their their dirt bike into a lawnmower. This is more of like a vlog style, fun entertainment type of, of channel. Whereas this first example that I showed you is more of like a how-to step-by-step guide to do different things with, with your dirt bike. So I recommend that you pick a niche and then niche down, and that's gonna help you grow and start getting followers if that's what you are interested in. If we go back over to our slide deck here, we picked a niche, we niched down. The next thing that you want to do is get necessary equipment. Depending on the format, you will need at least a camera of some sort, a decent microphone, and video editing software. You will, you may also need B-roll, and I'll show you and tell you exactly what that is. Now, if you click the second link in the description, I have a list of the best equipment based on your needs. So in the very beginning, as I mentioned, you will need a microphone, you will need a camera of some sort to record whatever it is that you're talking about, regardless if you're doing talking head or if you're doing tutorials or instructionals, you will need some sort of camera. Now, before we continue, if you have no money to invest, you should still get started with just your smartphone. Your smartphone is good enough for audio and video. Get started there. Don't delay your success simply because you don't have the equipment that you are interested in or that you wish you had. Another thing that you can do is you can get video editing software for free. This is going to help you edit your videos if you make a mistake, if you stutter. If you want to put B-roll, this is going to help you out with that. If you have a Mac, you can actually use iMovie in QuickTime to create your videos if that's what you want to do. But this software will work with any device. So you will need video, audio, um, recording software, and then video editing. Also, I recommend that you start looking into something called B-roll. Now, B-roll is text overlay or video overlay that will show up when you create your video. Now, if you've ever seen a video and just kind of cuts away to something, that's usually B-roll. Uh, so if we type in dirt bike here, you can see there is dirt bike B-roll that you can download. These are free videos, royalty free, so you can download them and use them right in YouTube. If you want a little bit more premium service, you can use something called Storyblocks and you can actually find more as well. So if we type in dirt bike here, now the benefit to Storyblocks is they have both high definition and 4K footage, so your footage will look a little bit nicer. They have different frame rates and they have a video maker right in their, their tools, their software. So you don't have to spend money on video editing software if you don't want to. But I recommend that you add in B-roll and we'll talk about that more when it comes to actually creating your videos. So again, the second link in the description We'll have a list of all of the necessary equipment, everything from keyboards to headsets, if that's what you want, but I'll have it ranked based on importance. Again, if you have no money to invest, start with your smartphone and move on. The next thing that you want to do is you want to get brand colors. If you are looking to turn this into a business where you make money, I recommend that you 
think about the colors that you're going to use. Colors convey uh, something within a person subconsciously. And so you want to make sure that you're cognizant of that. For example, the brand colors for the MX factory are just the simple black, red, and white. What you can do if you have no idea when it comes to picking colors and, and, and getting a brand and brand colors, you can actually use something called the Canva color palette. And they actually have put together different palettes for you to use. What you'll do is you'll go through, find one that you like. There are 99 pages out there. You click on one that you like, and it's going to give you an example of what it looks like. And then you can actually get the colors down here. You can use them all. You can use three, you can use two, do whatever you, is best for your business. Simply copy these, put these on a notepad, or you know you can use them to, for the next step. And the next step is simply to get channel art. Now, when we talk about channel art, we're talking about thumbnails, we're talking about logos, and we're talking about the banner. And you can actually make this yourself, or you can hire someone to do it. If you make it yourself, you can use a website called Canva and get started for free. These are all of the different templates that Canva offers for your channel art. Again, this is that banner that shows up whenever you look at someone's channel. Now, Canva does have both free and premium templates. As you can see, if you hover over them, it'll tell you if it's free or premium. You simply click on one that you like and make the changes based on the colors that you found in the previous step. If you have no eye for design or you don't have time to create your own channel banner, you can go over to Fiverr and find someone that will do it for you for as little as $5. Now, the reason why you want channel art, once again, is so that you are conveying to your target audience that you are serious about your YouTube channel. You want to build this and you want them to come along for the ride. It is a way of connecting with your channel or connecting with your audience. So you want to make sure that you are doing this. You can find someone that will do YouTube channel art for as little as $5. You can reach out to them and let them know your colors that you picked in the previous step and give them some images if you have some and give them an overall direction or theme of your of your youtube channel and they'll actually come back with something but then maybe as short as 48 hours so make sure that you do that after that we want to go back over here and we want to do a little bit of keyword research keyword research is going to be important when you first get started because you have no followers you have no viewers you don't have people that are just coming back to your channel and so the best way to start getting viewers in the very beginning is to do keyword research and there's two ways to do it you can do it the easy way and the hard way i'm going to show you how to do it the hard way first the hard way is simply to go up to your search bar here and type in a keyword for example i typed in how to ride a dirt bike if I hit the space bar here, you're going to see people are asking all sorts of questions about how to ride a dirt bike. You're probably wondering, how do I know which one I should choose? And that's why I want to show you the easy way. What we can do is we can go up to a free Chrome extension. It's the fourth link in the description. And you will go over to the keyword explorer. And again, I have a complete write up on all of this. And you're going to type in something like how to ride a dirt bike, as you can see here we're going to select this and it's going to tell you a difficulty of your or your chances of ranking for this keyword so a 34 out of 100 what we could do is we could niche down and say how to ride a dirt bike with clutch so if right now it's 34 with just the basic how to ride a dirt bike if we click on this one hopefully our overall score goes up and that's a better so as you can see 76 this gives you a better chance of ranking because you are niching down as you can see it also gives you a few more ideas but you'd want to create this video here and show people how to ride a dirt bike with a clutch and if again you click that fourth link in the description you can download this chrome extension for free um, so if we go back over here the next step is to create videos and i've already explained a little bit how to create videos you're simply going to take your the video footage that you've created and you're going to put it into some video editing software. Now, what I recommend that you do is I recommend that you change the camera angle every seven to 15 seconds. So that's where this B-roll is gonna come in. Every seven to 15 seconds, throw in a little bit of movement, change the viewing angle, change what your viewers are looking at, and that's going to give you a better opportunity to increase the length of time your viewers are watching. So that's why I recommend either story blocks or pixels. That's very good for this. So um, you want to make sure that you are creating your videos. And I, in my opinion, you should, your video should be at least eight minutes long. That's going to help you with monetization once you get to that point. And we'll cover how to make money in just a moment, but make your videos at least eight minutes long, throw in some B-roll and really try and solve your customer's problem. Your customer, your viewers are coming to YouTube because they either want a problem solved or they want to be entertained. 
If you can do both, if you can be both entertaining and solve a problem, you can make very good money over on YouTube. But if we go back over to our slide deck here, the next step is to create thumbnails. Now, in the very beginning, I recommend that you model your thumbnails after the thumbnails that are already in your already in your niche. And the reason being is we know that these thumbnails already work. So as you can see here, when I typed in how to ride a bike, these all have images of a bike. A few of them include uh, a, a rider with the helmet on. But if you model your videos, model your thumbnails after these, that's going to increase the chances of someone clicking on your thumbnail and watching. Thumbnails are very important when it comes to creating a new YouTube channel. If your thumbnail isn't engaging, if it doesn't force people to click, no one's going to click, no one's going to watch, and you're going to be frustrated and you're not going to make any money. So make sure that you model, don't just copy or steal, model your thumbnails after what's already working. Now there's two ways to do your thumbnails. You can either do it yourself with Canva. So if we typed in YouTube thumbnail, there's both free and premium uh, thumbnails that you can use, or you can hire someone to do it back over on Fiverr. And once again, they'll be willing to do it for as little as $5. The next step is to uh, talk a little bit about your upload schedule. Now, this is one of the most important things that you can do for your YouTube channel is to upload consistently. One of the reasons why people fail with YouTube is simply they don't upload consistently enough. Most people will upload once every two or three months and then they wonder why they're not getting views. If we take a look at this channel here, you can see they're uploading consistently at least one time a week um, to keep their channel growing. Now they have a larger channel so they can afford to do that. When you're first getting started, I recommend that you upload three videos per week or more until you get an established fan base. And one way to help you upload consistently is to batch out your content. So if you can create three videos on a Saturday or whatever day you have free, create those three videos and then upload them over the span of the next week or two. And that will help you with consistency. Now, again, one of the reasons why people struggle with YouTube is they aren't consistent enough. And if you batch out your content, that's going to help with your consistency. So if we go back over here, the next thing that you want to do is share your content on social media. Now, there is a right way and a wrong way to share your content on social media. Most people will just share their new YouTube videos over on their Facebook personal profile and your friends and family for the most part probably won't care about your new YouTube video. But the right way, the better way is to jump over to a Facebook group. So maybe we'll type in dirt to bike, hit enter. And if we go down to groups here, you can see there are dirt bike groups that you could join and eventually post your YouTube videos. This is a more targeted group of people that are going to be interested in the things that you have to say on video. These people can turn into subscribers of your YouTube channel and that'll actually help you grow a little bit better, a little bit faster. If we go back over here, the next thing that we want to do is look at different ways to make money. Now I do have the fifth link in the description that will talk about seven different ways to make money, but let's cover a few of them right here. The obvious and easiest way to make money is with the YouTube partner program. And with the YouTube partner program, as you know, you need 4,000 watch hours or 1,000 subscribers to be eligible. Just because you're eligible doesn't mean you automatically get in. Some people have problems getting in because of the swearing and some of the content that actually just shows up on the channel. So you want to make sure that you have at least 4,000 watch hours and 1,000 subscribers. Another way and potentially better way to make money with your YouTube channel is with affiliate marketing. And with affiliate marketing, you are simply recommending or selling other people's products and services. And the way that it works is you will find affiliate programs that are congruent with dirt bikes. You will become an affiliate. They'll give you affiliate links and you can post those links right into your YouTube channel. And when someone clicks on those links and makes a purchase, you get paid a commission. Now there are tons of products that you could promote, everything from helmets to dirt bikes themselves, knee pads, shoulder pads, uh, accessories, clothing that you could promote. Now the key to affiliate marketing is that you wanna make sure that you are promoting products that are congruent with your target audience. If your channel is all about dirt bikes, don't start promoting snowmobiles. That would not be congruent and you would have a very low conversion rate. Another way to make money is to sell your own digital or physical products. Now, the great thing about selling your own digital and physical products is you keep more of the money. And selling your own digital products is actually really easy. You can sell everything from a course. Maybe you have a step-by-step -step training to show people how to become an expert in, in competitive dirt bike riding. You can sell that right from your YouTube channel. You, maybe you have an ebook or a guide or something along those lines. You can sell it. And one of the cool things with selling right from your YouTube channel is they're a much more engaged audience. 
Uh, let's just do some quick math here. Their most recent video has 7,000 views from three days ago. What we could do is we could just assume that only 1% of that 7,000 viewership purchases a $5 ebook, and you'll see how much money this channel could potentially make from a simple $5 ebook. So we take 7,000 and we multiply that by 1%, that's 71 people. We can take 71 and sell them a $5 book and make $355 just from one video. But then again, you're gonna put that in all of your videos and make even more money selling digital or even physical products. So you can see there's a benefit there. Another way that you can make money is simply with brand deals. And with brand deals, you are working with companies that are going to sponsor a video or a series of videos. You would get paid for sponsoring the video. They'll give you a rough outline of what they want the video to be about. You'll make those videos and then get paid. So again, check out the fifth link in the description for more ways to make money with your YouTube channel. And then the last thing that I wanna briefly cover is I think you should consider getting a website right away. The reason being is simply because if YouTube disappears tomorrow or your channel disappears tomorrow, you'll be starting over from zero. Um, having your own website gives you your own base of operations. It's another income stream and you can cross promote your YouTube channel to your website, your website to your YouTube channel, and you can make money that way. And you can even write on different topics. You can link those new topics to a brand new YouTube video and make even more money. So I recommend that you do that. Check out the links in the description. The first link is for a free YouTube checklist that'll give you everything that you need to do to get up and running step by step. The second link in the description is for the necessary equipment that you need. Third link is for channel art that includes thumbnails, that includes the banner and as well as the logo. And then the fourth link in the description is for that free keyword research Chrome extension that I mentioned. The fifth link are the different ways to make money. And then the sixth link is to get a website. Be sure to like, subscribe, ring the bell if this video or any other video on this channel helps you out. Thanks for watching and we'll see you tomorrow.